So how long does Earth take to rotate on its axis? From what I've been told, 24 hours. 24 hours, okay. So as you might've guessed, it doesn't take 24 hours. It actually takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and four seconds. Okay. Really? Yes. Now, so, wait okay, a so, minute. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me just be clear about what I mean. Just get rid of the entire solar system okay. and watch Earth rotate and stand there and time it. That spot that's in front of you will come back around in 23 hours, 56 minutes and four seconds. One full revolution. Okay, gotcha. that's called a sidereal day. I like sidereal this. Sidereal means, means star, star day. So a you're measuring with respect day. to the universe. However, we don't base our lives on when stars return to the same spot in the sky. We base our days on when the sun, which right. also happens to be a star, returns to its spot on the sky. It turns out that takes longer. Why? I'll tell you why. Because in the time it took Earth to rotate, 23 hours and 56 minutes, it actually moved almost one degree in its orbit around the sun. So it rotates back to where it's previous line, but it has to turn a little bit extra. A little bit to extra to the, get back to the same. A little same bit thing. extra to put the sun back in the same spot on the sky. Right. And that's a that, few minutes extra. That's fantastic. Earth's orbit around the sun is not a perfect circle, which means sometimes we're farther away, sometimes we're closer. When we are closer, we are moving faster in our orbit than when we are farther away. So it turns out that extra four minutes is not the same if we're farther from the sun than if we're closer to the sun because we move more than our allocated fraction of a circle when we're close to the sun and less when we're farther away from the sun. The length of the solar day is changing continually throughout the year. Wow. And sometimes it's less than 24 hours, sometimes it's more than 24 hours. That's so sometimes so the sun gets to its highest point in the sky before clock noon. And so what we do is we just average that over the whole year and say, sun, you are average 24 hours and there you go. Wow. By the way, if you ever look at sundials, there's a map on the sundial that corrects for the sun being early and the sun being late. You either add or subtract up to 14 minutes of the day from what the sun time reads in order to get your clock time. Wow. Every sundial <clears throat> has it, so it's a figure eight. It's called an analemma. It's got a name, an analemma. What you have on your clock is the average length of a day over the 365 days of the year. So now we define that as 24 hours, each hour 60 minutes, each minute 60 seconds. Got it.